Good afternoon and early, good e early evening to everyone. Welcome back to the channel. What a stunning day. It's, uh, it's Monday, it's Bank Holiday Monday, Bank Holiday Easter Monday. It's been three weeks, three whole weeks since I've been fishing. So I'm chomping at the bit. And uh, new venue tonight, we are down at Chao, finally. Uh, accessed via Well Chine. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Uh, the, uh, the route down. It's pretty sketchy, there's no denying. It's bone dry at the moment and we thought that would be better but also speaking to uh, some other people who are saying that actually when it's dry it can be a bit more slippy uh, because everything is dusty on the top. But I'll show you and then you'll know what I'm on about. Uh, target tonight, uh, well there's no target really, I just want to enjoy my fishing, hopefully get a bass, hopefully get a ray, hopefully get some other fish. Daisy's down here as well. Just behind me looking for some sea glass come down with a camera take some pictures because it is stunning down here uh, and for the sunset and ross is already setting up just there so hopefully we can bag a fish i'm gonna get set up take this jumper off because it's roasting and uh and then I'll, we'll come back We're all set up, so I'm going to quickly show you the two setups I'm using to begin with. I mean, I am buzzing, like I said before, three weeks has been, and I'm so excited to get out. Totally new venue. I've wanted to fish here since I started fishing, because the, the, the reports are always good, but it's a mission to get down. Uh, and the weather has to be right to be able to get down. I'm sure a lot of other people do, but being a first timer to climb down, it is pretty full on. Um, yeah, Ross is still getting ready. I'm ready to go, and I'll uh, we'll go through the rigs, go through the baits, and then we'll get them out. <laughs> but buzzing! All right, so here we go. Um, right, so on the shorter rod, which is 13.2, um, we've got a two hook, uh, a two hook one up, one down, clipped type thing, which is this one's. It's the same rig that I quite often use. This will slide down. Uh, this is size ones on here at the moment. Doesn't focus very well. Uh, size ones, that's a whole black lug tipped off with some squid. Same deal down on the bottom one. So when that hits the water, it's on, hooked on the cascade swivel. That will slide down. So one's right on the bottom and the other one's a bit further up. I will change that to a 2 0 later. So I'm going to fish the same sort of style that I normally fish, which is two bigger baits. So I've got a bigger bait on that one one smaller bait and then rotate through so sometimes there's two big baits in the water sometimes there's one big bait and one smaller bait on the other side which is on the uh, the 14 foot um, I've got uh, half so half a sardine pretty decent size of sardine it's, I mean it's bigger than my thumb uh, that's got a 3 -0 and a 3 -0 chenou uh, penalt uh, that is on I'm gonna say five 
five foot, a five foot trace on an up and over. Um, changed these because I didn't have much luck with my up and overs. They kept on coming undone. Uh, so this time um, I've changed it um, to a different clip. And I think it was the clip that was making it come undone in en route, you know, in the air. Uh, but also I butchered two of my old pulley panels because they had this clip on the top which obviously that would then be on the bottom for my lead uh, I've butchered them so that now clips onto there and acts as the up and over the the uh, you know the, the bead sliding bead I don't know what you even call it swivel bead that would normally be on the pulley that would connect to the main line uh, I've put a bait clip on there splash down thing there you go so that is now that and then just where the normal line would have come off that swivel I've just put a much much bigger bigger snood on there so that will all in theory clip up and um, it saved me changing some rigs and making new rigs and just swapping a few bits over so man let's get these sorted and let's get them out Yeah, man, in the water. Ross got in there just before me. <laughs> Check it out, whoop. Uh, yeah, so both rods in the water, both baits. Let's have a quick look, see what the bait we got. Right, so in this bag of, or box, bucket even, of tricks, we got some Sam Squid, Unwashed Squid, C6s. Uh, a bit big, I am gonna use some um, some hole later probably but at the moment I'm just cut, cutting little strips or rings really uh, to uh, tip off the smaller hooks uh, I've got some uh, some mackerel uh, targeting those rays like I so said I do want a ray um, if I get one brilliant if I don't it's not it's cool like I am fishing tonight but obviously with the thought of a ray in mind and also a bass to be honest uh, hence having sardines um, I like using the sardines I haven't had much luck I've had some good bites on the sardine but I haven't really landed a decent fish as of yet on them but other people are saying they're pretty good and uh, and I like them they're really easy to use cut it straight in half boom two baits so and also don't tell Ross I got some peeler crabs thank you very much Loz and I've also uh, yeah, they're defrosting me in. I also got a few, a uh, few from West Bay Angling. Thank you very much. Uh, I bought all of them, <laughs> bought them out. Uh, oh, and also, there we go. Secret little uh, wrap of black lug. So there we go, that's our bait. We've got one, two, three, four, five different baits. I know it's a bit overkill, and I keep telling myself that um, it's too much. But the truth of it is, I'm not gonna use all of this, nowhere near. So I've probably got three, four, maybe three sessions I reckon here. I won't use that whole bag, not even half probably, because I've got all these other baits. Um, I was trying to work it out, hang on. Uh, yeah, so I was, I was trying to work it out um, earlier. If we're here for five, six hours, but say five hours, bait change every 20 minutes, which I'm not gonna do, not in the best field of the world. That's three bait changes an hour. So that's 15 baits for one rod. So let's make that 12 baits, because I'm never gonna do it 20 minutes, and then it takes the time to change it over anyway. So 12 baits, there's 10 baits in that one bag of sardines. So I know that I'm gonna take majority of that, probably half of it home. So what looks like 20 quid's worth of bait, well, because it is 20 quid's worth of bait, will get me three sessions, easy, I reckon. But we'll see, anyway, that will be the new the new thing. We'll see how, how well I can make that last, and I'll just, the next three sessions, I'm using that bait, okay? Right, uh, next bait is ready to go out now. So this is the other rig I'm gonna use at the moment. So I've got an up and over, I've got 
a two hook clip down which is like a one up one down and then a pulley panel big chunk of uh, squid and mackerel wrap on that one uh, that's got a I believe it's still only a 3.0 wide mouth and a 3.0 uh, that's a bait hook that one because they're kind of a bit hooked over so I've, I've squeezed the the spikes on the back of the, the sort of shank of the hook I've squeezed those flat and I'm using those for panels because I've got them and I don't use them so there's no point in buying more hooks and uh, reuse those so uh, baits have been in the water probably over 20 minutes so I am going to change one now and chuck this one out Alright, I'm not going to lie, a little bit disappointed, first two chucks locked straight up, straight in snags, I must be literally landing in it, I'm not getting anything on it, both of them have just snapped. I've chucked one back out, but keep thinking about what we've been speaking about and comments I've had before, so I am going to move, I'm going to move on the other side of Ross, about another, I don't know, 8 or 10 metres past him, he's not snagging at all. Just spoke to another chap who's just come down and he said it's great for race here and he caught a blue skate man uh, which is the thing he said there's only three being caught in the UK um, this one Ross has just missed something so I need to move get reset up get these baits back in the water uh, yeah I don't like being snagged Right, let's try here then. Hopefully, we won't get snagged. Just another bunch of anglers have just come down as well, and they're gone way off to the right. Mate, he's, well, he's just gone, man. He's walking all the way down to like Black Gang, I think. So, hopefully, no snags here. And uh, I think Ross might have a bite again. He's certainly holding it like he has. So, never know, might get some fish. Right, that's the next bait that's going out. So that's the other half of the sardine. Bulked it out with a little bit of squid, but you can see the juice is coming out of it. Look at that. Focus. Yeah, boy. So that is going out. That's on a uh, an up and over again. But uh, hopefully I won't get these snags now because it'd be nice just to relax into the fishing a bit. Sun, I reckon, has already got half an hour to set. Um, tide is definitely starting to push up, so. Hoping we're all right. Might have to scoop right up to the back, but. But it'd be nice to see a bite. My uh, left hand rod, which is the taller of the two funny business is long and slow but it's, it could be weed on the line but it's certainly moving a lot more than the other one there's a lot more vibration like there's something going like that but I don't know I think it might be wishful thinking but I'm gonna have a look at it got another bait rigged up that one so I can chuck that out right well that uh, that sun's dropped and it's um, about, whoop, it's behind me there it's now dropped and it's, it's pretty bloody cold if I'm honest um, so I've put my jumper on uh, and I'll be chucking my other my other layer my smock on in a minute I didn't bring any thermals but I've got some long johns on so hopefully I won't be too cold uh, I'm just about to change another rig, just going to chuck out, um, we've got some black lug, a uh, little cocktail of crab, squid and black lug on size 2 two O's, uh, two hook clip down, um, I'm going to chuck that out, leave that soak for a little while, I haven't had any interest, but at least I've changed one since moving and, uh, and I didn't snag, so that's something. Uh, but I feel pretty good about it, like I say, it's now the sun's gone down. It's a lot darker. Um, it's tide starting to push up. There's a few people who come down fishing, so you know it's all it's all good things. Uh, just need to land a fish. Uh, so let's quickly change that anyway, and uh, and see if that brings us anything.
So Ross is, uh, he's just started to move back. Uh, I don't think it'll be too long till I start to move back, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use the bait next. Keep chucking those sardines out, I guess. So I'm getting a pretty decent bite on the uh, on the taller rod again. Uh, it doesn't look like the waves, but it's not a solid. Well, it's just a ba boom, ba boom. But it's definitely not the waves. But it's not. Fucking, it's not bouncing. That's uh, sardine head and squid. No, nothing that time. Uh, definitely looked like someone had a go. I need to sort the tip lights out, to be honest. Um, get some more light on the situation. But yeah, mate, my heart's pounding. <laughs> Just the anticipation of the possibility that there might be a fish is getting me going. Yeah, come on, man. I feel like I'm getting a few bites. A few bites now. Um, but I'm leaving them. I think the one on the left is definitely the tide. It's definitely the surf. But I had a good few little bites there. A few little rattles, which is on the two O's. That could be pow. I am going to spend the next hour or so just putting big baits out, I think, on both rods. Who knows, there's so much surf. <laughs> could be anything, could be nothing.
<laughs> yes! Jackie, Jackie! I got a ray, man! Look at the way he's standing! Yeah. There we go! My first ray! What, it, what is it? What ray is it? <laughs> Small eyed ray. Cool, man! I'll double check. Oh, you're up for a start. 9.62. 9.62. Woo! 9.62. I don't know what that is, but it's nine pound point six two. So oh, that's three down, three fifths uh, of fourteen. <laughs> a 60 9 so nine yeah. pound eight ounces yeah. there we go it's four, there's 48 ounces for a pound 16 oh okay it's bigger <laughs> oh in the point nine. Nine, nine. Yeah, nine 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 pound nine ounces baby nine, 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 that's nine, my nine. biggest fish man <laughs> oh. there we go that's better now you can see it properly Nine pound nine. Awesome, man. I am stoked. Look at that. Little small eyed ray. I mean, I'm going on what Ross is telling me. I haven't got a clue. I know it's a ray, it's got wings, but it has got small eyes. So, oh, there we go. It's still your average is out of mass. There we go. One oh, nine pound okay. nine small okay. eyed ray. Try and get a yeah. here we go. One more show. We got it in a uh, in a rhino tub, so it's uh, revived and stuff. So obviously we've just taken it out. But nine pound nine small eyed ray. I am so stoked, man. Not only is it the biggest fish I've caught. But it's been the ray that I've been after for such a long time. Oh, mate, I am so happy. It's such a beautiful fish. It's a lump, I couldn't believe it. When I saw it at first, I was like, oh, it's, I don't know, four or five pounds, I don't know. Uh, and then it was only when I picked it up, it was like, Jesus, that's heavy, man. Yeah, so wicked. That was on um, uh, an up and over size 3 wide mouth like manta style hook uh, with a panel and it was a panel that had got it uh, and that was on the uh, sardine head uh, wrapped up with a bit of um, squid one last show beautiful let's get it back in Second fish, <laughs> not quite so good, but it's a little pout and it's totally trashed my gear, totally trashed that rig, it's been out there for a little while, uh, but to be honest, it's not very well, uh, so I think we'll keep this and we'll use this as a bait. Uh, yeah man, two fish in, wicked, stoked. <laughs> I love it when I do a segment and I forget to push record. Uh, yeah, so quick update. It's quarter to ten, uh, and we haven't had any more fish. Pout and that uh, ray, uh, nine pound nine small eyed ray. I am buzzing, man. I'm super chuffed. Uh, I'm quite happy not catch anything, but obviously now that I've caught something, but the adrenaline is going through the roof, and I'm absolutely buzzing. And the anticipation of might get another one, so uh, I'm chucking them out there for sure. Uh, so what we got out there at the moment, I've got a mackerel and squid wrap and a sardine and squid wrap um, and that two hook which came in with the pout which was absolutely caned, uh, I've managed to untangle it so I am going to chuck it out again uh, and then I'm just going to fish two big boats, I think maybe try and catch a conger, 
I know anything really. Another ray. Just fish. It's great, man. I'm loving it. Brilliant. Thank you for stopping by. I had something decent on then, you'll be able to see obviously because I was putting in weight and there was something on there for sure. Possibly a conger, I don't know. I don't know, who am I kidding? I had a fish on for sure and it was weighty and it came off. Got it. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Wow, let me get my bag. Wow, wow that thing? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> I don't know how to pick this thing up. Macklin squid, wrap about that big, going for another ray, obviously. It's caught a bull hus. It's big. <laughs> On the edge as well. Now that, hang on. That's a fair sized bull hut right there. I don't know how big it is. I can see the other hook now, I'll try and get that out. Well, hit, oh, here we go. Woo! I'll say 15, 12 or 15. Say 14. Yeah. Let's go for just say 14. It's a smidge over, isn't it? 14. I'm going to say 14. Let's just go with 14. I'm happy with that. Wow. Look, similar. I don't think you can see. Oh, this. Oh. Come on, buddy. Chill out. Chill out. So it keeps keeps bouncing into the 14th like point. 
one, two, but I mean, we'll take 14 pounds. 14 pound, man! <laughs> All right, so I hope you're enjoying the video up to this point. Um, I wanted to put this in because when I caught that hus, I didn't really understand uh, how good a fish it was. I just caught it and I was buzzing, totally buzzing for catching a big fish. It was a big hus, bull hus. I know they get pretty big. I've had a really small one before, as I said in the in the clip, but I didn't realise quite how big it was. And it turns out when I got home and I, I looked up, the Isle of Wight record for a bull hus is only a smidgen over twelve pound, um, and it was twelve. It's twelve pound nought ounces, and I think it's eight penny weights, which is pretty old school. But obviously, it goes to show what scales it was used. To, to weigh it now I have notified the people concerned that I have caught this it's on camera it doesn't show up on the scales I understand that because I had the torch to shine in and will it will it stand is it be able to stand I've got a witness there you can see that I was buzzing had I've known obviously that it was a, a decent fish like that then I would have um, you know I would have spent more time trying to get the, the weight the, on camera really really well and get a decent picture because i haven't actually got a really good picture of it uh so we're waiting to find out so we're keeping our fingers crossed anyway uh and hopefully it could be a new island record because it i smashed it and it's a shame really because if it doesn't stand um because i could have killed that fish if i'd have killed it and taken it to be weighed then it would stand um but I put it back, obviously, because somebody else could catch that fish and it will live to grow and be bigger and somebody else can break the record. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're waiting to find out anyway. Hopefully it will stand. Um, if it doesn't, it will be a real shame. Um, but I stand by my choice, not killing the fish, just to try and get a record. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, and I will keep you informed on how we get on. That was, um, it was must have swimming that yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's bigger than any fish I've had. There we go, 14 pounds. 14 pounds, look at the teeth, man. Look at that. That baby's going in the sea angler, man. <laughs> awesome. Right, let's get this one back in. Unreal. Yeah, I shouldn't carry it, hold it like that, should I? It's always take the weight. Woo! What the hell? I'm having a brilliant session, best session ever. Three week break, first raid, biggest raid I've ever had. I've had a little bull husk before. 14 pound, man. That's got to be pretty decent, eh? I am super chuffed. £14, that's like £23 a fish in one night. For me, that's epic, man. Unbelievable. Right, I need to get a rig sorted and get some bait in the water. This is a mayhem at the minute. I've literally just released that bull hush and Ross has just come in with a ray. Go and have a look. Oh, mate! Yeah, so you got small hide? That's what you were literally just saying that you hadn't had one. Now you have. Yeah. Wicked, man! Right, let me get a picture as well for you. So Ross just had a small hide as well. A bit smaller that one. Didn't weigh it. He wanted to get it back in. But that's his first small line as well. Uh, so yeah, in a space of like an hour, but three really good fish. I don't know if that's a surf. Got to be the surf. I've only just chucked it out. Woo, I'm pounding. 14 pound fish, man. When we pulled it out, I was like, Jesus, what is it? It's huge. Look at the teeth on it. I hope I got it on camera real well, because the teeth 
Amazing. But yeah, we're having a great night. Great, great, great session. So, <laughs> both of those fish, uh, both of those fish have come on the up and over rig, uh, the same rig actually, uh, that I'm alternating through. So I'm using a panel, uh, a panel pulley, an up and over with a panel, and, uh, and a two flapper. Got a feeling, might have something on again, I don't know. Some big rollers coming through. Uh, but yeah, both and both have been on the hooked on the panel. Buzzing! I can't believe that, man. Fourteen pounds. What a big old lump of a fish. <laughs> Whew. Right, so it's half ten now. I think we've still got about another hour and a half, two hours of the flood. Uh, but man, jail, jail and uh, whale chine, man, where is that? I am coming back here again. I'm so glad I've got it on camera. You, when you're doing uh, filming, when you got a channel and stuff, you start off I wasn't filming every session because I was enjoying some sessions without the camera and after a while when you haven't had anything decent for a while you end up t filming every single session because you want that fish to be on there uh, and I'm just so stoked man I got it on camera I'm super super chuffed man uh, yeah so you guys get to see my two best fish ever. <laughs> Thought it was a bit more special than that. But no session will be complete if we didn't get a dogfish. And I've got one. So I've had four species tonight. Oh man, I'm chuffed. I'm so chuffed, honestly. Beautiful, beautiful little dogfish. Let's get another bait out. There we go. Ross just had a, uh, that's got to be, what, three, four pound? I don't know, it could wear, nice little uh, conger. So yeah, we're pulling out some species now. I think we've had, I think we've had five species between us. I have a little oh, pout, man. tiny little pout. Yeah, five, yeah, five species. Yeah, yeah. cool, man. Ooh, so we're pushing up now. So Ross has just had another um, an eel, uh, conger, and we're just pushing right back. I'll show you just how far what we've got left, what we've got left to move. So there's basically the back, and that is the cliffs there. And the water is there <laughs> at the moment. Uh, so we haven't got a lot of room, but we think we're going to be all right. Um, well, we have to be all right, simple as. But the surf now is getting pretty, pretty chunky. You see, um, see if I can get it in a minute. I mean, that's, that's not chunky at all. But um, yeah, there's some decent, basically some decent shore dump coming through, uh, which is playing a little bit of havoc with the rods. But um, yeah, that's quite mild compared to what we've been having. It's super, super loud, so I'm hoping you can hear me. But yeah, what a great session so far. There we go. Don't miss that one. So that's a pretty cool sight. The moon is just creeping around the corner and it's big, man. Real big gone pretty quiet to be honest I haven't had a fish since that um, since that dogfish I haven't even had a bite so probably an hour hour and a half maybe it's gone 
I've got a couple of baits ready to go. Uh, I've got a squid and black log wrap, and I'm going to use the last of those sardines, uh, which I'm going to cut in half and wrap that with some squid. But yeah, it's a big, big orange root. Yeah, what a great night's fishing, man. So, there we go. Last chucks, both out there now. Last cast, it's 20 to 12, so I've got work tomorrow. I always knew it was gonna be a little bit of a late one tonight because I made a special effort to try and get down here and high tide was at 12, so. In actual fact, I think it's already turned. Because you can start seeing the, as the, the, as the um, door breaks coming up, the water that's coming up is now slightly moving to the right, uh, which means the tide is now going that way, which is out. But yeah, hopefully we get something on the last chuck. Don't really mind if I don't, to be honest, because I've had an epic session. But yeah, we'll see anyway. I'm going to slowly start packing some bits away. Ah, uh, well, there we go. I've packed up, or at least packed most of it away. The sun is shining there. The sun? <laughs> the moon is shining. So anyway, it's definitely time to go. It's gone 12 o'clock now. Uh, and we didn't have any, any other bites near the end. So let's say tide has turned. Thought it might switch a few fish on, but it hasn't. Uh, but man, what a session. I'm so chuffed I managed to get it all on camera. Uh, it's about a nine pound nine. Uh, small eyed ray, my first ever ray, and uh, of any sort. And a 14 pound bull husk, man, what a beast. Uh, yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy session. So I'm super, super stoked and I'm so chuffed that I can get it all on camera for all of you guys. So, so thank you. Uh, thank you for all your support as always. And uh, man, I'm knackered. We've got a bit of a climb to get out. All that adrenaline now has just gone out the body and I am pooped, so. Uh, until the next one, please, all of you stay safe, uh, take care, and uh, maybe I'll see you out there. Cheers.